Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. On this channel, we do daily content talking about different emulators, ROMs, homebrew games, utilities, ports, you name it. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I hope you enjoy this one. What's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at a dynamic theme for RetroArch. And if you don't know what RetroArch is, it's an application that allows us to play all sorts of different retro emulators. And if you haven't already installed this application, I do have a video on how to install it. And I'll leave that link in the description down below. So RetroArch will work for all uh, custom firmware as long as your PS Vita is hacked and it does work on 3.73H Encore 2. So for those that are kind of scared to downgrade, no worries, it will work for 3.73, no problem. And we're gonna take a look at this amazing dynamic theme for RetroArch. Now, before we go through the installation process, which is a little tricky, we're gonna have to jump through a few hoops in order for this to work properly. I'm gonna show you what we got going on here for the dynamic theme and there it is it's pretty cool we have a very nostalgic feel with each emulator we have the Game Boy Advance with all the different consoles uh, we have Game Boy Color Game Boy NES uh, Super NES Super Nintendo Entertainment System the Game Gear the Sega Master System and the Mega Drive so these are the emulators that are currently uh, well that I'm currently using right now and there's nine different colors to this dynamic theme so the gold that you see we have uh, let's take a look here we have a cave story theme the retro green retro orange retro blue pink red gold purple and simple and now let's go and get started with the installation process so before we begin, just make sure you have an FTP client installed on your computer because that's the way we're going to be installing this theme and also we're going to have to go into a configuration file and edit uh, some text. So uh, let's go into our Vita shell and get that FTP client started and what we want to do is press start and make sure your select button is under FTP and FTP will only work if you're on the same network as your computer so for example my computer is connected to my modem which is under Robles Internet and the Wi-Fi for that internet is Robles Internet so I have to just log in on my video on that same network and that way you can communicate through FTP client no problem and that's the only way it will work now we're going to go on to our desktop and let's open up the FTP client here. I'm using FileZilla. So here's the FTP client. Let's quick connect to my Vita. Say yes or OK. Perfect. We're ready to go. Now go to the first link in the description and that'll take you to drive.google.com. And here, what we want to do is click on the name, the RetroArch Theme version 3, and we're going to hit download. And it's going to start downloading a zip file. All right, so let's show in our folder. There it is, the RetroArch Theme version 3. Let's right click and extract here. And you should have a new folder. Open that up, and you'll have nine different folders. Those are the different colors. Very good. And let's delete that zip file. Now let's get the FTP client ready here. Now moving on to copying the RetroArch theme version 3 folder onto our Vita. And you can pretty much place it wherever you'd like. Just make sure you remember where you placed it because we're going to have to find this directory on RetroArch and also. Uh, edit the configuration uh, text file for RetroArch. So, me being the consistent guy, the consistent type, 
I'm going to be doing it in the UXO folder. And from there, I'm going to go into the data and go into RetroArch. And from here, I'm going to go into assets. And I created a folder called themes. And this is where I basically placed RetroArch version 3 uh, folder. And this will take some time. I think it took me about a minute and a half for it to fully copy. So make sure your PS Vita doesn't fall asleep. And that way you don't lose the connection through your FTP client. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go back. And what you want to do is find, let's go all the way back. Let's just say you placed it right in the UXO folder. Now what we have to do is find the configuration file of RetroArch. So we're going to go into data. We're going to find RetroArch here and go on the bottom of this list and we'll find the RetroArch.cfg. That's the configuration file. So let's open that up and you're going to have to use some type of like notepad. Whoops, I double clicked. You want to use some type of notepad or WordPad or something that will bring up the text from that file and what we're gonna have to do is find the menu wallpaper so I'm saving you a lot of time here uh, just doing it right now instead of going into RetroArch and kind of risking of that not being available for you so we're just gonna do that right now okay once you open up the configuration file we're gonna hit control F and we're gonna find the menu wallpaper uh, line configuration line so we're gonna type in menu underscore wallpaper find next and here we're gonna type in the path where our retro arch theme version 3 is located so I do have this screwed up here and here is the path that you're gonna have to copy or whichever path you choose you're just gonna have to make sure to correctly type that in this line here this menu wallpaper line so for me I have UXO colon backslash data backslash retro arch assets themes and make sure you type this correctly retro arch space theme space version 3 and finally you're gonna have to have this at the end of the line all caps menu.png and then you hit control save or control s i'm sorry control save control s or hit file save and now we're going to go back on our vita and finish up the setup now we're back on our vita we're going to cancel this and open up our retro arch all right so once we're in retro arch we're going to go under our settings and go to the directory option enter the directory and go under dynamic backgrounds and from here we're gonna open up one of the folders for our retro arch themes let's go under the UXO folder let's go under data let's go to retro arch assets and here are my themes there's retro arch theme version 3 and from here you can choose whichever you'd like and for this demo we're gonna do the cave story and we have to select use this directory you don't have to worry about anything being in there we already know that all the files are placed in those folders so we're good to go use this directory and we're gonna go back under user interface under appearance and from here you should see the background uh, selected as menu in all caps PNG now if we didn't configure that file it will be set to default and when you go and choose those specific backgrounds under that folder it just displays nothing and you're not able to select the menu PNG because RetroArch doesn't see it so if you did everything correctly the background should be displayed as menu PNG and make sure your opacity is at 1.000 we select that and just press up to avoid the scrolling select that go back to the frame buffer opacity 1.000 
and it should work when you select different emulators and there we go that is the cave story uh, dynamic theme very nice and I did have a little hard time uh, trying to install this dynamic theme and it was just getting a little crazy for me when it came to the configuration file and the creator really didn't describe it uh, he did describe it but it was a little tricky so uh, he wasn't very clear he wasn't very specific so hopefully this video was helpful for you and when it comes to the different dynamic themes you just go back to the dynamic backgrounds and you just select a different folder right let's go back to data go to retro arch assets it is kind of crazy when you're going into these different folders but I like to stay consistent and have everything in its specific folder in order for me I don't know that's just how I am let's try simple use this directory now we can choose and there we go that's just a simple no color gray theme so that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one in the future and if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and any questions as always comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible take care guys and I'll see you on the next one.